What is up guys, welcome back to another pig hunting video. But anyways, before I start this intro off, if y'all want to go see one of my pig hunting videos that I just filmed this evening, as you can see it's getting dark, I actually just filmed a pig hunting video and I had some success, so you might want to go check that one out. I will link that in the description below. But yeah, go check that one out after this video because I just had luck like an hour ago and got a pig. Or shot a pig. I don't know if I'll find it. But, but anyways. Well now we're into this video. And I'm actually doing this intro right now. This evening. The same evening I filmed that one video. Because I'm going to be hunting in the morning. And I don't feel like doing that intro. When I get up in the morning. So I'm doing it right now. And yeah we're going to be. Hunting a different feeder than the one I just filmed that. But the only catch is. I think it's the same three pigs going to each feeder they're like 400 yards apart but i only shot one of them out of that group so i think i think that they will be coming to this feeder in the morning because they're on this feeder every morning and they're on the other one every evening so i think we've got some pretty good odds and we're gonna see if we can make another video in the same weekend so yeah let's get it on film see if we can make it happen in the morning it's either going to be me shooting or my dad shooting. I'm not too sure yet. It depends if my dad gets up out of bed. Sometimes, you know, he wakes up and he's like, now nah, you can go. So usually I'm shooting, but since I already shot one, he might go and I'll film him. But regardless, we're going to try to kill another pig, however it works. So I'll see you on the morning. And after this video, I can go check the link in the description like I already told you a hundred times. But anyways guys, this will be the last of me for tonight. I'll see y'all in the morning and hopefully we see something good. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers.
gonna get out of the blind in like, probably gonna go look in like 20 minutes. I'm gonna get a little better daylight. It's only, it's only like 6.19 in the morning, so just got daylight and we schlocked as a pig. Using G5 mods, X if you are wondering. Alright guys, so I'm coming from a brief, I'm looking at a brief inspection of the feeder right now to see like what kind of blood we have and I honestly don't think this thing made it far because I just came and looked and there's quite a bit of blood. I'm only looking like 10 yards around the feeder right now though because the chiggers and mosquitoes are horrible. So before I go in this grass and go looking for all that, I'm going to get some bug spray on. So I'm just going to give it a little time right now, but I'm going to show you what we're looking at around the feeder. Feeder's right there, and first blood is like right in here, just steady trail. And she already broke my arrow off. Montec broke off right there. And as you can see, the blood is just all up this trail. So... Oh, on the rock up there too. So I do not think this pig is going to be far. But I'm going to get some bug spray on and we'll get back on this trail. Hop back on this trail and that'll be it. I don't think we'll have to go far at all. With this blood, she's got to be down within 50 yard range. Alright guys, we're down here. Back at the feeder with more light. I'm going to show you how setup. There's the blind. Only about a 17 yard shot to the middle of this feeder. But let's get on this trail and see if we can find it. I bet he ran about, I'll give him 50 yards. Probably just got over the fence and then he's dead. So let's see what we got here. I know he's bleeding good because there's blood everywhere. Like I already showed y'all right here. Got my part of my arrow. Let's go through here a little bit and see see what we can find a lot of tracks through here I'm assuming he went through here Let's see all right guys we're about 25 30 yards in y'all can see the feeder barrel right oh no you didn't see the opening where the feeder is right there but anyways we're at the fence here and found where she crossed a lot of blood at the fence I'm gonna get across this fence and Hopefully she's not too much further. I doubt she is. Oh, get here. So there's where she crossed. Got yeah, I think we got good bubbles in the blood too. So can't be far, right? We'll see. Blood right there. Just keep trekking. A lot of crap we gotta go through now. Still bleeding good. If y'all can see, there's definitely bubbles in that blood. So, we're probably 40 yards in. That was... I'm guessing 50 yards, so we got about 10 yards from my guess. I think she's going to go a little further. Oh, right here's the arrow. Part of the arrow. Oh, yeah. Good lung blood on that arrow. For sure. I'm going to turn this knock off so we can reuse that so it doesn't run out of battery. All right, guys. So where I last updated, y'all, was like right there. I found all that blood, and I found the other part of my arrow. And then it started getting, it started getting hard to find blood through this all this grass and stuff but I just decided to come look in this brush because she was she started coming right for this brush and I decided to peek in here just to see if I could see her in here and sure enough there's a pig I knew I knew it probably it couldn't make it this much further in this brush and if y'all watched uh, one of my other hog hunting videos I actually took my friend up here and he shot one 
and it literally laid right there and then mine laid right there they always run through here and I guess if you hit them in the lungs they usually don't go much further than this is probably 60 yards or something this pig's actually a little bigger than I thought it was it's a little boar oh he's muddy looking exit wound is right there we'll get him out in the open and show you him a little oh he is full of ants guys nasty little pig heck yeah I knew I knew we had him because I saw the bubbles and the blood I knew he had to be dead but this thing's got a little warthog look to it you don't got much hair he's all gray pretty ugly pig not gonna lie all right I'm gonna get him out in the open so we can see him for the camera a little bit better he's probably about a little 60 70 pound pig Ay. all right so I just saw this when I came back to get the camera you can see there's the opening and he laid right in here and I was like I wonder how he got here so I saw these tracks and sure enough he bull he barreled in right to this tree you can see the blood right there and you see it in the cedar right here but yeah he barreled in this tree and couldn't go any further went down right there entrance hole went in right on the crease of the shoulder perfect little montec cut right there smoked him all right guys here he is second pig of the weekend if y'all haven't seen the hog hunt before this go check that one out i filmed that hog hunt last evening or yesterday evening and also moved and sure enough got another one at a different feeder this morning so pigs are coming in pretty good here at the ranch coming in the daylight y'all used to see a night hunts from me but finally got some coming in the daylight and we got some pigs shot finally this is a good little 50 60 70 pounder somewhere in there so yeah Stay tuned for more of these videos. Gonna be a lot more videos coming out like this. Got I even got some pigs coming to my house at night that I'm trying to shoot. Right now we're at my ranch. Usually all my hunting videos are done at my ranch, but every now and then we get some pigs at my house too, so stay tuned for that. We even got a really big boar out here that I've had on camera like two times. I know he's still around. Nobody's killed him, I don't think. He's pretty smart, but he's like, close to like 250 probably and he's a big ass boar and he was actually with this group of hogs one time like three weeks ago or something but I know he's out here so hopefully he'll be in a future video but that's about the end of this one if you enjoyed this video go hit the like button and the subscribe button I really appreciate that and stay tuned for more videos like this of course should have more coming out pretty quick so I will see y'all in the next video